you, thank you very, very, very much. Welcome to this beautiful edition of Aside Hot Biafra Television this morning, this afternoon, this evening, depending on your time zone and location. <laughs> I am your brother Mazi Opaleze Chukubi Kem Ago Biafra and Kem Bonala Biafra as a wife and one in Ibe Malezo who Akazo de Amazi O Soji Adimedi Jifere Abagusiangene Amakulungene La Onya Sabasino Lela Kana Langene Onya Wani Chikaswa No Kwa Lela Kana Langene Manande Nuguba is no Kana Nguya Anamasi Ebobu ni sine kilim no toto ane fifia chukuo kikabia magoze lo mge gebo mwafo ibo mwafo biafra niki ihe mwero mwe maka biafra na masi to all of you that see biafra as their religion to all of you that believe that biafra is our religion to all of you that believe that biafra is the most important thing in life to us to all of you that believe that without Biafra, we are all useless. To all of you that believe that without Biafra, we will go nowhere. To all of you that believe that the future of your children and that of your children's children and their children's children's children is on Biafra restoration. I say, Mechuko Kikabiyama continue to bless and guide, protect each and every one of you. That everything you put your hand, everything you touch, shall turn to gold. But to those of you that doesn't believe that Biafra restoration is even more important than whatever belief you have, I say me chuko kikabia mapaogoku. Those of you that are putting your belief, your useless belief, that have not changed anything in your lives at over Biafra restoration, me chuko kikabia ma punish each and every one of you. Chuko kikabia ma kanina po. I am saying this unequivocally and I am saying it with all my chest that Biafra is our religion and Biafra is more superior to any belief or faith you might have. I have come in peace but behind me is war. I have come to speak to humanity with truth and fact and figures. But behind me, for those of you that are seeing your religious belief over Biafra, I have come to you guys today. Those that see your religious belief over your own freedom, Look at Ojuz Okalu today. He is crying because he believes that Nigeria is going to change things for him today. He's crying. He is not free as a Nigerian, even in the Senate. That is why he's crying. Ojuz Okalu is a billionaire. Now I understand the meaning of the rich also cry. You will never see any Northerner cry because of anybody intimidating them because they believe that the country they gave to them belongs to them. And they are the people that determine what happens. That is why you can't see any one of them crying because of intimidation or marginalization that is meted against them. It is only an Igbo man, a Biafra man, that was forcefully put together with those that own the contraption that they put all of us together that can cry because he doesn't have his freedom of speech. Because there are laws that is made to protect those in the north. And there are laws that are made to come against you that is from this side of the world. I welcome all of you that are watching this program and sharing this program. Mwada Chalugo, you're welcome to this noble program. Mazi Oka Fortunedu, you are welcome. Austin Onyeke, you are welcome. Obi Ajolo, you are welcome to the program. Obi Mayu, you are welcome. You are many. I can't mention all the names of those of, those of you that are watching. Ebere Chuku, you are welcome. I love each and every one of you. I want to build my preamble by saying that Mechuku Kikabiyama bless anybody that believes that his or her freedom is more superior 
than anything that has to do with religious belief. Chukwu Kikabiyama must bless these people. The one here, all the no soji, because soji are the GGFR. The problem is that people, Kahani the Bundi Rabu the Kotera, na ngono umai na la biafra. Kareli operechi mke hapo yeleniya, oga diro ni nima uni ni gafu biafra. He said, and to those of you that believe that your religious belief is more superior than the restoration of our own great nation, Biafra. As in Chile, because none of you will see this nation, Biafra. Ulaman fu Biafra. Makanifu no ne kuma kiabu umoro. Uyu ne kuma kiabu. Oku berechi uno. And I have two men in contents over this topic that I want to discuss. The first person is Chibuz or Eguato, known as he called himself Ikenga, Uruago. The second person is Donald Azubike. These are two religious bigots that have denounced Biafra before the world over their own belief. And nobody is talking about it. People have not spoken about it, and I said, I see the heart. I am coming here to talk about it. For the past week, that these guys made this defamatory statement against this noble movement that people have died for. Christians have died for this struggle. Traditionalists have died for this struggle. Um, Judaism beliefs have died for this struggle. They left their beliefs. They died because of Biafra restoration. They did not die because of their religious belief, but because of the restoration of the nation, which is paramount, which is pivotal to them. And today, we have two idiots, two morons, that came out publicly to denounce Biafra over their own religious belief. And I will be, I've been watching with keen interest, waiting for people to analyze that particular frivolous rubbish that Shibu Zebato and the Donald Azubike coughed out of their mouth. Nobody has talked about it. Nobody has given it a widely accepted explanation or digression. Nobody. People may talk about it partially because they are trying to still maintain their relationship or their personal uh, relationship and doings with the people that say this thing. For me, this struggle is my number one priority. This struggle is the reason why Ikonso died. These two guys that made this commitment can never equate somebody like Ikonso in one billion years to come. These two people that made this comment can never equate the life of our brother called Chinedu who died because of this struggle in one trillion years. These people cannot equate the life of Moses that died for this struggle. People who like Awara, mighty, people who like blood, these are men that have left everything that has to do with their religious belief and say, we are going to fight and die for the restoration of the nation of Biafra that is going to give a common sense of belonging and reasoning to the people of Biafra. These two idiots, known as Chibu Zewato, you call Iken Guru Agu, and Donald Azubike, they are one billion years ahead of them. When you talk about impute in the struggle, what these guys that have that have fought and died for the restoration of their nation, which is number one thing you have to see as a religion. These two guys that coughed this rubbish are like that are under under the slippers. 
under the slippers, bedroom slippers of people like Ikonson, people like Eze Israel Okukanu, who died for the sake of the struggle, not for the religious belief. And in the queen herself, Eze Mwa Inneme Okukanu. There are people that are right now rotting in different jails in Nigeria, police stations, and prisons, not because of their religious belief, but because of the restoration of the nation of Biafra, which they see as their religion, number one. You all know that I don't fear nobody. I won't be hugging. They have, your mother, in fact, I won't be hugging your, your mother. For me to be afraid of you. They, never, they are not giving birth to Negi. How much more going for me to be afraid of you? I respect everybody, but I fear nobody. And I want to establish this fact today. I am not making this program because I want Chibuzo Eguatu to be sacked in IPOB. God sees my heart. I am not making this program for him to be sacked from IPOB just the same way as UBK has been sacked and everywhere was quiet. Nobody came to talk about it. Nobody came to bring it to light line, which I have come to do today. I am making this program to speak to that Mwanza Known as South Africa. Bera ne runku, ne runku, ne runku, or dia koga can nia. Manomara no ruchanku, mechayana nia halo. Nkwaneru, bo, he began to do a good work for IPOB in the past. If I speak against him in any way, let the Lord God of the Lord of the land judge me. This man called Tibuze Guatu have gallantly in the past fought for the restoration of Biafra. But on Afrikaana, also not Azubike, he is a west of Miriamu. The father would have wanted to go and throw that thing away. That man, let me not call him a thing, he's a man. Go and throw him away instead of giving birth to such a man that have come to drag this guy, Chibuze Wato, that have suffered to contribute a lot in terms of media preponderance for the struggle. He came to deceive him, and today he is down. He's on the ground. I am not doing this program because I want to fight Chibuze Wato. I'm doing this program to expose his myopic mindedness he's short-sighted that is what i want to expose his stupidity his his empty brain is what i want to expose and i want to use this program to speak to him direct knowing fully well he's going to watch this program to change his ways and come back to his normal senses because the man that have dragged him into this mess is already out of the struggle. Let me tell him today. You know, because of the people this guy has fought in this struggle, people, the infiltrators that want to bring this pro this movement back, backwards. Because of this set of people, whenever I want to talk about this guy, I mind some kind of words I use. Because all of them want to capitalize on that to attack him. And that is not my intention. But my intention is that I will speak the truth to him. That he may know that people like me are still in this struggle. He is too small. I deal with giants in the struggle. He is all alcohol. And these guys who he has fought in the past are the people that will be more happy 
Hey, now as the hot is fighting Ikenga, I am not fighting him. I am exposing his stupidity. I am exposing his his backward way of reasoning and thinking. I want to correct his brain because I want him to continue to do what he was doing in the past as long as this struggle is consigned. But I'm going to do it in a hard way. I came to realize that each time I talk about this guy in a very my in a very you know calm way, he thinks that I am afraid of him. He thinks that maybe he, uh, he is big or something, and he will not listen. Instead, he will come out throwing words to me, mentioning my name, throwing words to me, and that is why this morning I've decided to give it to him. Woto woto as in the heart. The deceptive message of Donald Azubike on his platform, which he gladly keyed in with, using the language of Donald Azubike, who is a nobody in the struggle, to justify his own mindset and belief, makes him the worst fool on this planet Earth. Because as long as I know, Donald Azubike have not contributed anything to this struggle. That hundred hundred dollar you are paying every month from the time you joined this struggle. There is a guy called CHK, Chika in Indonesia. If Chika in Indonesia have not spent money in this struggle, to my own knowledge, to my own understanding, Chika have put no less than 50 million naira in this struggle. Dear friends, you know, you see, whenever I tell you something, I tell you something with facts and figures. I don't tell you that somebody told me to say. If Donald Azubike think that he have contributed too much in this struggle, that he has the effrontries to challenge members of the Rectorate of State to post their payment receipt online, I want to tell him that there's a man whose voice has never been heard on Radio Biafra for once. I know this man. Like, his voice has not been heard. He has not picked up a phone and make a call on Radio Biafra to say a word. He has not appeared on anybody's platform to say a word. CHK, whom Mazenam named our FM our frequency modulation radio in Biafra land after him have never opened his mouth to talk on Radio Biafra. I have never seen him say anything in the open. But if this man have not spent money in this struggle, if this man have not, have not contributed in this struggle, he have contributed over 50 million naira. Biafra's listen to me. Over 55 zero million naira. Do you people understand what I'm saying? If you like, you share. I notice that Facebook is attacking those that are sharing my program because I refuse to monetize. I said no to monetization. And I beg people to share because I did not monetize. I'm not begging people to share because I'm making money. So anybody who is telling me that I've worked for it, I should monetize, bro. Thank you very, very much. I will not monetize. Let those freedom, those uh, career freedom fighters who are talking rubbish, who are coughing nonsense from their mouth, continue to make money with the rubbish they are saying. But today, they have finally landed. And we have seen where they have landed and how they landed. Dear friends, I want you to know that the man called Donald Azubike has been sacked from IPOB. indefinitely sack. He is no longer a coordinator in America. No longer a coordinator. And I will explain to you people why it happened. 
if you are religious, if your religious belief is more important to you than your freedom, then you are not worthy to be a freedom fighter. I repeat again, for those NTK, those, there are some of you that have NTK, and those of you that always like my program, please, I want you to keep touching the share button and the like and the love share button that Facebook may continue appreciate and accept my program to move smoothly because I have not violated any of their community standards. I have a proof to that. I have also posted it and I'm going to show you guys how healthy this page is. Donald Azubike came out in the open to say that his religious belief is more important to him than the freedom of the people that he is coordinating as a coordinator. Do you know what it means? It simply means that his religious belief is more important to him because he lives in America and he boasted, raising his shoulder, that if he like, he can live in America all his life. His children will live in America all his life. Look at the mentality of people that are coordinating IPOB. I started shouting about Donald Azubike many months ago. I was warning him. Go back to my platform and see where I mentioned his name. I say, Donald Azubike, if you don't take time, the spirit of Biafra will consume you. And it has finally happened. If you believe, if your religious belief that could not give you a better life in Nigeria, that could not give you a better life in the state where you came from, is number one to you and sent you to another country where religious belief did not establish anything but their freedom. It was the freedom of America that put, to, to put, that put America where it is today. The same thing with France, the same thing with UK, all the whole countries of the world, their freedom is what put them where they are. Not their religious belief. They have independence. That is to say they have rights to make laws, to enact laws, to put things the way they want it in their own country of their own. It is called sovereignty. In other words, Donald Azubike and Chibu Zewatu, a.k.a. Ikenga, Uruago, prefers their religious belief over their own sovereignty. And this, their religious belief, cannot protect them. Are you people aware that Boko Haram have, ki have kidnapped one pastor from the north? As at yesterday, it was a breaking news. A senior pastor. Is it a reverend father? I think either a reverend father or a pastor. Yesterday, Boko Haram kidnapped him. Yesterday. This is somebody who is championing his own religious belief as a Christian. And what is Boko Haram fighting? Boko Haram is fighting to restore their own belief, to make it run over every other, every other person's belief. Because the country itself, they are claiming that it belongs to them. So why would someone come out to tell the whole world that his religious belief is more important than his freedom. That pastor was kidnapped because he is not free. If that pastor is living in a, in a country where laws is more superior than any other thing, than any, any religious belief, he will be protected by the law enforcement agencies.
and nothing will happen to him. But today he is kidnapped because there is no law enforcement agency that will protect him because he doesn't belong there. Now, do not as we care expulsion from IPOB is as a result of all the shenanigans that he's, he's been displaying. And I will tell you why and how. You know that some people think because they have followers, because people are listening to them, and because of that, they can use their platform and do anything that they want to do and go scot-free. That is what Chibuze Gwatu believes. And I tweeted this morning on my Facebook account, I wrote on my Facebook account, that I am waiting for those people, I'm waiting for them from South Africa to protest. And when I say those people, I know he is not the only one. That is why I use people. But I want to call him directly now. That I want him to come out to use that his platform that Donald came, him and Donald used to, you know, to speak against their own freedom. Declaration of their faith being more important than their own than, than their own uh, freedom was made on Chibuze Wato's platform. I want him, I challenge him, I dare him to also come out and use that same page to protest. Why would Donald Azubike be sacked as an IPOB member and as a coordinator? If Chibuze Wato did not do it, you will remain a coward in your life. I dare you to do it. I'm one you queer. I think you're a freedom fighter. Now, the man that used your platform to attack the Directorate of State, members of the Directorate of State, and de denounce his loyalty to the restoration of our own nation, not his own nation, because I don't know where he came from. With you too, you denounced it also. I have the video, the full video is with me. If you like, delete it tomorrow. IPOB members have it. The man that used a platform to say that he declare that he's going to declare war, he's going to mobilize Christians against IPOB. The video is out there. You deleted it, but people still have it. The man that used a platform to say he's going to declare war against IPOB. The man that used his platform, your platform, to say that instead of his faith not to be sustained. That Biafra shouldn't come. And I don't know who is dragging his faith with him. Because nobody is dragging any faith with you. Whatever you believed in is yours. The leader of this movement have made it clear that when Biafra come, now Biafra is our religion. And forever. But when Biafra come, you that believe in, in serving OK should go and meet OK and serve OK. You that believe in serving Ngwere should meet Ngwere and, and, and they believe in Ngwere. Nobody will stop you because the law of the land will take care of every other situation. Now they have sacked him. IPOB with the, with the wisdom of the rhetoric of state. He is sacked. And finally, finally, I am waiting to hear you come out and shout. Instead of my belief, not to stand it. Hey, let the uh, uh, Biafra not come. Say it again. I dare you. I want you to say it again. And when we shout, when we cry, when we say, when we sing that Mazin Nandekano is our savior, I saw your explanation. I saw your analysis that people say that Mazen Nandekani is their God. There is no how Mazen Nandekani will be our God. There is no how. There is no how we will say that Mazen Nandekani is our God. Never. Mazen Nandekani can never be our God. But Mazen Nandekani is our Savior. Whom 
God himself sent to come and save us. I don't call a mere human being, a mortal human being, God. No matter what you do for me, I don't do that. But I saw the way you explain it. Like I said, this program is not targeted to like make the sack him. No. You have fought for the struggle. And I don't want you to be out of the struggle. But if you have sense, as I'm challenging you now to come out and do a program, why did they sack Donald Azubike? Then you make your sense. You make proper use of your sense to know if you will do it or not. I'm not you see a stubborn brat. That is who you are. The platform is yours. You can use it to say anything. Now the time the time has come. Come out and use your platform the way you want. You declare that IPOB. You declare that your belief, your faith, your Christian belief is number one before Biafra restoration with Donald. I can go Donald, I don't pray. I don't pray it happen because I am a man that never forget the past. It doesn't matter the bad thing you do today. I still remember the little good you have done in the past for the struggle. You see, some of you will think that I hate this guy called Chibuze Watu. Some of you will think that I hate him. He is the one that hated me. When you listen to him, Talk about me. You will see hatred coming out of his mouth, out of his voice. But when I talk about him, I talk about the good things he has done. Then I come to destroy the bad ones he is doing. But when he talk about me, he always talk down on me and condemn me, lie against me, say all manner of things. But I don't care. Because I do know. The topic I am treating this morning, this afternoon, this evening, depending on your location, is a top notch. In case you don't know. Because I say, the declaration of anyone's religious belief above the freedom of Biafra is tantamount to sabotage. Yes, I said so. As long as you call yourself a Biafran and you want your freedom, for you to come in the open space, like it is not a discussion. Listen, if Donald Azubike and uh, Chibuze Wato had a private discussion, like a voice note, and they, they begin to say all these things, then somebody post it in the open. I will not talk about it. That is their personal opinion discussion in the secret. But when you come out in the open domain, in the public domain, and they stand up with your all your chest to say that instead of your faith, not to stand, let the Afra not come. This is tantamount to sabotage. You have to sabotage this struggle, Chibu Zewato, in a very big way. You and the, and the donor. And that is why Donald is already sacked. I am waiting to see what happens to your platform and the, the donor that has been sacked. We are all waiting. One noble one will go, okay, it's new, the go get me, the go go. It is a platform. It is a platform. You can say anything, you can do anything. Oh, say it, go. If you don't use that a platform to fight for, for Donald and fight against IPOB that you people plan to, to do, then you are a coward. Because on your platform is where Donald Azubike used his word to say that he's going to mobilize Christians against IPOB. If not that people like us are still in this struggle. Now, Kodo, our fellow, our fellow Christian brothers and sisters, Anya, because all of us, we are born into Christian family. By now, they will think that they are being pushed out. I am not in support of anybody who is attacking any Christian. Directly or indirectly. 
but I'm 100% in support of anyone who is exposing the evil of Christianity. Just as we're exposing the evil in our tradition, our traditionalist. Listen, when I called you once and then people do not understand me. I remember the day that you were announced an interim coordinator in South Africa. I wrote you a letter. Dear friends, I don't know if I can see that letter, that letter I wrote for I wrote to Chibu Zegwatu in the open domain. I don't know if I can see it because it's been long. If I, for me to look for it now, it's going to take me time. I wrote you a letter. <laughs> I sent something to you that very day. And I congratulated you for the, for the post. Then I told you that even though, even as I'm congratulating you, it is a work that you are called to do. It's not as if you won a, 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 any, any uh, rifle or whatever. You did not win any jackpot. It is a work then I advised you to be very, very, very careful. I advised you, Chibu Zewatu, to be careful to have a listening ear to the people that you are going to coordinate. Because I know that I see the heart now. All the people you have battled in this struggle, all the people you have fought in this struggle in the past, they are happy now, clapping their hand, that Donald Azubike have destroyed you, destroyed whatever you think you might have done for the struggle. In the past, Donald Azubike have succeeded, and now Donald, Donald Azubike is out. They are waiting that the next person to be sacked will be you. And I want to tell the Director of State, please, do not sack Chibuze Watu. <laughs> please, do not sack him. I will be here to be treating his stupidity, his rubbish. Do not suspend him. Because that Bible they are reading, I have read it from Genesis to Revelation. And I came to realize that even God himself, at times, used to declare a thing and change his word. Contrary to what they say that when God says something, he will never change it. It's not true. In that same Bible, what the Bible teaches us, while I was reading it, he says, there is a, a quotation in the Bible where a man called Hezekiah. God told him that you are going to die by this time tomorrow. According to the Bible. And the Hezekiah cried and said, God, please have mercy on me. Pity for me. Give me more life because of the good work I have done in your kingdom. Because of the people I have preached your gospel because of your kingdom, of your, your, your churches, your um, tabernacle that I have built. Please give me more life. This is what happened in that Bible you are reading. And I want you to justify your case today. Because some people will say, Mazi, you are attacking him now, but why are you saying that they, sh they should not sack him? I am not attacking him. I am exposing his stupidity. Then if, if he sees it as, a, as, attack, as an attack, let it be. I'm still searching to see if I will see that letter that I wrote to him. I'm still searching why I'm talking. Then what happened? That same Bible says that God repented from that declaration that he had made on that man, Hezekiah. And the Bible says that God gave him more 15 years to live. Why I'm searching it, I just stumbled on the message I wrote on March 27th this year. There's a one that predated this one that I wrote. Where I see, look at it here. If you can read it clearly. You see, it says, Dr. Donald Azubike from USA, be very careful. The spirit that guides this Biafra struggle is consuming fire. Now, then the Bible that you are reading, I don't know if you have come across that particular page that says God repented and gave Hezekiah 
more years, 15 years. So on this note, it will not stop me from exposing the stupidity of Chibu Zewa to known as Iken Urago. But at the same time, I am still talking to the Directorate of State not to, oh, not to sack this guy. Let them pardon him. Because look at even I even shared his program. Look at it. This is this is his program on my on my on my platform as the heart. You see, I, I'm sharing his program. I used to share his program, but I stopped the moment I found out that the guy is something else. So why I am talking this why I'm speaking this way is because I want him to know the kind of person that I am. I know that he was among the people that we are fueling the ember of uh, sack President Lincoln, sack President Lincoln, sack President Lincoln in those days. Then when he noticed that President Lincoln was not sacked, he came to me as a friend. He pretended to be my friend and began to tell me to come out to speak. And I thought that no yemeni abono the boye from Nanya. I never knew that there was no love, only hatred. Just that they wanted to pull Aside Hawk down. All his plan was to pull my platform down that he may climb. And that is why he continuously shouting, saying, I am number one. I am number one in this struggle. I am number one media warrior. When he talk about media warrior, I am number one. Because he was threatened that there is someone who whose platform was used to fight the battle in the front line. I'm not saying that that person is number one anyways, but he was threatened, thinking that for him to drag that number one to himself, he must have to make that person to look irrelevant. He must make that person's platform to be brought down for him to climb. And that was exactly what happened that day. But to me, I am not saying that this guy should be sacked from IPOB. I'm not saying that this guy should be, you know, um, suspended but I will tell him everything that I need to tell him so that he will receive sense if he want to receive sense he will receive sense if he doesn't want to receive sense he should go ahead and kick himself from bottles dear friends what I'm saying today on this platform You may not understand it, but as time goes on, you must have to understand it. Chibuze Wato have denounced Biafra directly and indirectly. For him to declare that his faith in Christianity is more important to him than his freedom. It is a very clear evidence of denouncing that Biafra is our religion, that Biafra is paramount, that Biafra is pivotal, that Biafra is what we need more than any other thing. Do you understand this? It is very, very simple. If you do not understand it, then forget about it. This guy called Chibuze Wato brought Donald Azubike to his platform and they were they were they were coughing rubbish absolute rubbish saying all manner of nonsense all in the name of protecting their, their belief your spiritual belief is your spiritual belief it is your relationship with God it has nothing to do with your freedom your freedom is supposed to be number one before your spiritual belief with your God. If you go to India today, Indians are worshipping anything they want. Nobody stops them. If you go to China today, Chinese are worshipping anything they want. Nobody stops them. If you go to so many countries, Japan, Korea, they are worshipping different kind of things. Nobody stops them. But none of them with their faith can, I repeat, none of them with their faith 
can stand the law of those countries or challenge the law of those countries. That is to say that the freedom of that country is more powerful, more superior than their belief. But here is somebody that was made a coordinator in America and a person that was made a coordinator in South Africa telling you that his belief is greater than that than that uh, freedom that he is, you know, clamoring for. Ndibu, Oliver de Kokwe, Gule Ogusi, Oke Solongwe, Mwada Mmiri, Oko Asela Ngwe, Amonko Loke. The reason why Uche Mefo left this struggle is because Uche Mefo took his religious belief first above Biafra restoration. That is the truth. And because of that, there is no how your religious belief will be more important to you than your freedom. And you continue to lead the people of Biafra. It's not done. That is why Mazen Namdekanu himself did not put his Judaism religion ahead of the freedom of his people. He put the freedom of his people ahead of his Judaism religion. For those of you who may think, hey, this guy, why are you attacking again? The video is here, but I don't want to play it. I don't want to play it. I have the video. The full video, like from beginning to the end of the program, I have it. I save it. Because generations to come will, are going to see it. I'm saving a lot in my archive. As I'm talking to you right now, my archive is getting like, if I want to write, if I want, like, I want to write anything about this struggle, now I want to write a book about this struggle, now my archive is going to give me like 10 or 15 different books. 10, or from the time I joined this movement, from the time of the first Directorate the of State, Ike Nyago, to this current Directorate of State of Matsuki Dozium, what I have learned and the saved is enough to write over 15 books. But you know what? This man called Iken Guruago, Chibuze Wat, called Iken Guruago, think that he is smart. But he is not smart. Your smartness stops where other people begin. But sometimes when he boasts, I am from Unewi, I am from Anambara, uh, we are business people, we I have sense, I do this. Then when you behave, it is the opposite. It is the opposite. How can you come on your platform and as a freedom fighter begin to tell the world that your belief, your religious belief is more important than your freedom? How? It's a question that people need to answer. It does not work that way. It doesn't. Your freedom should be more important to you than your religious belief. And today, Dona Dazibike is out of the out of the game. I know that wherever you are right now, you will be under panic. You'll be panicking, you're gonna shake like a gidi no down. And I noticed one thing, dear friends. This attitude of Chibu Zebato started the moment he came to tell us about American woman, American citizen woman he married. You see, sometimes it's good when you don't want to get married. Try and marry somebody that share the same ideology with you. Try and marry somebody that when you are going the wrong way, the person will call you back and fix you in a chronological order instead of the person pushing you to that, that wrong way you are going. Uncountable times have give, this guy came on his platform, you know, boasting. If I didn't listen to my wife, are you the one that I will listen to? Forgetting that women are weaker vessels. Forgetting that women are made of more emotion 
created of more emotion than men. How can a freedom fighter come to brag to tell you that my wife likes when I open my ear and put, um, and put earring? My wife wants it when I open when I pierce my ear and put earring. My wife likes it when I plait my hair. And this is the same person that is out there fighting people, calling people names, saying that people are homo. I want the world and his followers and listeners to know that his facial look is a representation of a homosexual. I did not say that Chibuze Watu is a homo. Get it right. I am saying that his facial, the way he dress, after plating hair, you pierce nose, put earring, you put earring in your nose, you look like a homo, a homosexual. That is how you look. With that, you are nose, ear, nose ring. Ear, uh, I'm waiting for you to pierce your eye too, to put another one in your eye. But if it is me or someone else that are dressing the way you are dressing, talking about our freedom, you will make program for that person for one month, non-stop, because you'll be making money from comments and, and, and viewers. You will drag that person into anything that that person is not. I've listened to you calling people homo. Nahana Pontu. I have. I have seen you shouting on top of your voice. No, you are homo. Why are you not Pontu? Why are you not Menka? Man, I bought this thing. Come and prove it. You cannot prove it. Then you go and be dressing like people that. Uh, that look like homosexual. But nobody is using it to attack you. But I want to remind you today that in case you don't know, go and look at yourself whenever you put that ear, your nose ring, earring, and plate your hair. Go and look at yourself. That is attribute of a homosexual. In case you don't know, it is since you got married. Uh, am I saying you got married? On the way. Show us the video of your traditional marriage. I'm interested to watch the video of your traditional marriage. Shibuze Watu. I'm not talking about the white wedding. You can go and call anything you want anywhere. Because I am 100% sure that since you traveled to Mozambique, from Mozambique to South Africa, your foot. Your feet have not touched the Biafra land. I'm 100% sure about that. If you have entered Biafra land, show us the evidence of your traditional marriage to that woman you are calling your wife. This is a guy during the time of Nelly Ofebu that used me to do program. You see, I am not the kind of guy that want to get back to somebody because of what they do to me. I am not. I am dealing with you based on what you are doing at the moment. I deal with it. During the time of Nero Fable, this guy was saying, hey, presenting, hey, he, 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 his picture, he was doing the kid, uh, uh, on, a worker, on a worker with Nero Febu. That is why he cannot come and talk about Nero Febu. On a man with Nero Febu, um, why America is doing this for him. They are having uh, video set. Those videos, I saved them in case you don't know. I saved those are videos where he was attacking me, lying against me, saying all manner of nonsense. I never use those things to come and respond or attack you. I kept them in a the fridge. You don't know me. If you know me, you'll be very, very careful when you are talking about me. I don't know. So this girl that you, you are claiming that you got married to, that is now controlling you, Telling you what to do and what not to do. Making you to talk rubbish. And you'll be bragging, my wife tell me what to do. My wife control if my wife doesn't control me, is it you that will control me? My wife is my everything. My wife is this, my wife is that. Even Mazen Namikan only 
acknowledge the beauty of his wife. He only acknowledged the beauty of his wife and the brain of the, of the wife because the wife is a woman, or is a vicious woman. He never for one day say, it is my wife that tells me what to do. It's my wife that tells me to put earring because she like it. It's my wife that tells me to put nose ring. Before This is like child abuse. So, for you to continue to say that your belief is this and that over your freedom, I want the world to know that you have deviated from this struggle. Only you knew if it is because of the woman you are claiming to have married. Which there is, which I cannot even say that you are married to that girl because I, there is no evidence. Nibo, Nibo, I don't know, I don't know why news I don't know why news is. Open it, no why. You go say, show us evidence of your marriage with that woman. Show us. Open it, you bank where, in South Africa, in Mozambique, or any part of Africa. Show us the video we want to see. We will gladly say congratulations to you as a happily married man. But I tell you something. That your declaration of your faith over your freedom is where you have shot yourself mercilessly on your leg. I wonder how you are going to coordinate the people of Biafra in South Africa with that kind of men mentality. That kind of quasi mentality of yours. That kind of quasi mentality of yours that that have destroyed everything that you think you have worked for in this struggle. Only that your declaration. You think that DOS are not watching? They are all watching. They are all taking cognizance of whatever we are saying or doing. They are. All of them, from A to Z, are watching. And they are reading meaning into any of your world. Just as I'm speaking right now, they are also watching. If you are the man of the house, there are things that your wife will tell you to do, you will say no. But when a woman is the one marrying you, Taking care of the expenses in the house. That is when the woman determines what happened in the family. Any family where woman is the breadwinner. Any family where woman is seen as the one that is carrying every burden in the family. That is where the man be behaves like a woman and the woman behaves like a man. That is where a woman wake up in the morning and tell, the, and tell a full grown man. Not, if this guy had said, I'm plating hair because I like it. I pierce my ear because I like it. I pierce my nose because I like it. It's a different game altogether. But saying that because my wife wants it, because my wife likes it, that is to show that you are not man enough. And finally, finally, you have landed by telling us that you, your religion is more important to you than than your freedom. And now, I want to search and read it out for you. We are that religion that you call, because you're a hypocrite. You can go. Chibuze, but you're a hypocrite. I want to read out in your Bible, in that you belief, where Chuko Kikabiyama condemns that you are nose piercing and earring that you are putting on as a man. And those of you who are Bible student, you can as well help us to search it. There is a quotation where the Bible teaches us to believe that makes him to say, I am a more Christian than Pope, that my religion is more important than my freedom. It's condemn his physical outlook, which has to do with a man wearing what is not supposed to. I will look for it. And those of you that can help, please help to put it up there.
when the, I am the worst person you can you can fight in this struggle. The worst of them all. Or more. You think if you talk about me, I will just come out and talk about you. No, I will wait for you to do something. Once you do that thing, I will come to correct you in a calm way. When you come out with your shenanigans, I will give it to you double fold. I'm looking for it right now. And I'm going to find it. Okay. Finally, I think I have gotten it. One of the quotations. What does God say about men wearing earrings? <laughs> it's in the book of Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy 22.5 I want to use that his Bible that he believed in to teach him something. And it's also in Proverbs 25, 12. Let me go there and see what Proverbs says. Let me go and see. Mekona Siamu Leviticus also have it. He says, you shall not make any cut on your body for the dead, for the dead, or tattoo yourself. I am the Lord. Religious bigot, listen to me, oh. Ima na kwa nge nkiti kembo, ina magari, ina afere gari ono. Na bragi gari. Ina na bragi. I want to, I want to prove to you that you are not as religious as you claim. That is what I want to do to you right now. Using the same faith, the same Bible that you declare that is your faith in Jesus Christ to teach you and to educate you. Are you listening? <laughs> you shall not make any cut on your body, on your body for the dead or tattoo yourselves. I am the Lord. That is Leviticus 19.28. Now, I got a quick Bible today. I got a good Bible today. We are going to check it today. Okay, I'm coming. Let me go to another quote. Deuteronomy 22 verse 5. Thank you. Is there? Is there? Is there? Where is that Deuteronomy? Let me let me read it out. Open the church, yo. Open the church, in the church, church. In the sinner, now their faith is more important to them than religion. There shall not be an article of a man upon a woman, and a man shall not put on a wrapper of simulate. Of a rapper of a simulate woman, because every everyone doing this thing is an abomination unto the Lord your God. <laughs> you will see it. Deuteronomy 25, 22, 5. Can Tibu say what to go and read this very, very well? That religion that you believe. That you want to show holy, more you are more holy than Pope. That you, is more important to you than your religion. He's telling you that your physical outlook is taboo before the Lord, before God. Your physical outlook, the way you dress, 
Let me check where, where he talks about plating of hair. I will check. I will check where he talk about plating of hair. I will check it right now. Okay. I've got one meow. I've seen it. The reason why I am doing what I'm doing this morning is because I want to prove Chibuze Ubatu. That one's a Grabenko. This is a I want to put him in a chronological order. I want to correct him. I want to teach him what he doesn't know. And I want him to change his ways. This is um, yes. This is uh, First Peter. I'm using their Bible version to talk to him because he is a Christian. He believes in his his uh, uh, Christian belief. So let me use that his Christian belief to admonish him. He said, "Do not let your adoring, adoring, adorning be external, the braiding of hair and the putting on of gold jewelry." Or the clothing you wear, but let your adorning be the hidden person of the heart, with the Im with the imperishable beauty of a gentle and quiet spirit, which in God sight is very precious. For this is how the holy women who hope in God used to adore themselves by submitting their own husband. This is Peter. Now I want to go to where he talked about a man direct. Yes. See, what I'm doing now, I'm doing it because I want this man called Chibuze Guato to move back, to go out of that lane that Donald Azubika have put him. To go back from where Azubike have put him and return to where he used to be, fighting the enemies of the struggle. Let him renounce that quotation of his that says that his religious belief is more superior to his freedom. He has to renounce it. I'm coming. I'm still looking at what this particular quotation that Chibuze Batu believed in says. I'm going to look for it. He has to. Even in Islam, he condemns it. It is permissible for men to braid their hair in Islam. That is in, in Quran. But I am I want to use the Christianity he believes in to educate him. And I will open my line very, very soon. It is right for men to wear braid or lock. Who what does the Bible say about it? No. I want a direct message. I did not prepare like I want to use this as a topic. Just as I'm speaking, then my spirit say, Let me go online and search for what the Bible that Chibu Zegwatu claim that he is a Christian says about him. Hold on. We are here. We are here to learn and to educate each other. So on this particular one, he claim that he, Chibu Zegwatu, knows it and is an intelligent man and is a Christian. Yes. Yes. 
Yes. Yes. The Bible verses about man wearing earrings and piercing of ear and nose. If you are interested to know why I am speaking to Chibu Zewatu on this particular side, because he is a believer of Christianity. He is a follower of Jesus Christ. His belief is more important to him than his freedom. Even though where he's living in South Africa, he is still begging for stars from the so-called freedom he's fighting so that he will be able to pay his house rent and feed himself. Now, if you go to 1 Peter 3, 3, you will read it. If you go to 1 Timothy 2, 9 and 10, you will, you will read it. If you go to the book of Judges 8, 24, you will read it. If you go to the book of Isaiah 3, 18, to 24, you will read it. If you go to Proverbs 21, 2, you will read it. If you go to Romans 12, 2, you will, there are so many places that the Bible spoke against the, a man piercing his nose and his ear, putting on earring. And somebody who sees this belief, this religious belief as more important than his freedom is still doing those things. Does he read the Bible? Does he follow the the, the religious belief that is making him to look like a mad, to go mad. Does he? No, don't say that it's a lie -lie Bible. It is what they believe in. Richie, Richie, don't say that. This is what Chibu Zewa to believe in. He believes in it. That is why I'm bringing it out to show him. Because if this guy knows that his belief is more superior than his freedom, then he must be keeping the law from the Bible that he believes. He must be keeping it. But he thinks he is intelligent. He thinks he's wise. Little did he know that he doesn't know nothing. When the Bible that you are believing in reading says you should not pierce your ear and put earring as a man, or are you a woman in a full period? Okay? This is why sometimes I say, God, those men that open their ear put earring, those men that play, play their head look like woman, please help me and add menstruation to them. Because that is what is known of that gender that use all those things. It is not about someone fighting against religion. I'm not fighting against religion. I'm talking about someone who believes, thank you, uh, my brother Eberi, Keep bringing those quotations. Is here. You can go here. Leviticus 32 2. If you said it, Leviticus 1 15 to 32 and, and uh, uh, says it. Judges said it. Isaiah 3 20 says it. Hosea is Genesis. A lot of quotation. Upper somebody be an assumer. I am a believer of Christ. I believe in Jesus Christ. I am a Christian. I, my belief is more important to me than my freedom. And you are not doing what that Bible you are quoting says. You are not. You think because you are in South Africa, you are not in danger. Your mother is here in the Newe. Her life is in danger. Your family members are here in the Newe. Their life is in danger. So how dare you say that it is your belief? that is more important to you than the restoration of our nation that is going to bring peace and harmony, bring security to everybody. And yet you claim you are a freedom fighter. Sometimes, that's what I believe. I am just here to admonish you. I'm here to correct you, to put you in a chronological order. To Bazir Gonu, because he, you know, he can walk through Afu. Don't have destroyed you. Every facet of whatever you have done in this struggle have been this have been destroyed by that comment of yours. Makana, okay, so don't man, okay, okay, okay. You went and followed Donald Azubike to declare that Christianity, your, your Christianity faith is more important to you than your, your religious belief, than your, your, your freedom. That your religious belief is more important. Instead of it not to stand, let Biafra not come. Today, don't have those who catch you getting more fear. 
let him go and continue be sending his money to the Pope. Why we that want Biafra and see Biafra as our religion should continue to fight until Biafra is restored? This is where I want to double here. So, Donald Azubike, it is now clear to you that you are free now to continue, continue with your religious belief, which is more important to you than your freedom. Then we that believe in the restoration of our nation, we continue to fight until Biafra is restored. I don't want to talk about what you say about Jonathan Chinedu, Isaiah Yoba, what you say about Methuselah and the Mazia Chebe and all that. I don't want to say that. I don't want to touch it. Uh, I capitalized on the stupidity of you as a human being to speak and to teach the one that claimed to be that he imitated, he, it was imitation now, he was not original. He imitated you by saying that religion is more important to him than his freedom. So, and what are you talking about Biafra for? Get out of this way if you don't want to come back and maintain the lane. You get that way, out of the way. My line is open. My name remembers all the two who came out Biafra and came and Biafra is away from one in the Omar if you want to call, the number to call is already on, this, on, on the screen. But I tell you something. This religion's belief, I am not against you believing in anything. One idiot that said that he's out of here, let me block him immediately. I'm blocking him myself. I will not wait you to go out of this place. I just block the idiot because Oh, Kafara. Oh, Kafara. So, oh, Achalugo, you're asking if, if, if he insulted your mate. He didn't hear when Azubike was talking rubbish. Mentioning names of people that are fighting seriously to make sure that our nation is restored and our, our land sanitized. I know that if people call now, they will begin to insult this guy. And I think on that note, I don't want that insult from other people. Any insult he's getting, let me be the person that will give it to him today. Until he come back to open the lane that I will follow. That I may teach him more lesson that he doesn't know. I believe by now, by now all the quotations you people have put out here would show him something he doesn't know. You love which I'm I'm not against you loving which I'm Why would you love which I'm You think I don't know why you love which I'm You love which I'm because of what he did for you. When you are stranded, when you when you when you when you stole money from your brother, your senior brother in Mozambique. Who gives you Lego one Lego Finding your way to South Africa. I know the role which I'm played. He helped you. That is why you are loving him. You are not loving anybody that didn't do any, anything good for you. This is one thing you can do. What about somebody from Mozambique? Somebody from Mozambique who gives you on this platform. If you doubt me, I will bring the person in. The person is going to I don't want insults on him. Say anything but don't insult him. I will be the one that will give him the insult of his life because Oye Bafla Bafu Kobo. Welcome to the program, as the host. Your name and where are you calling from? Yes. I am here. Good evening. I am And I'm going to your program from the beginning. So now I'm a player. I'm a player. I'm a player. Yeah. Right. Okay. I'm going to hear you, brother. Yes. I can hear you, brother. Continue. Continue. I can hear you. Continue. I can hear you. Loud and clear. Are you sick? Yeah, continue. Uh, 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 Mazi. Uh, I watch from your program and 
In fact, what is going on now in IPOB? Uh, Mars, I'm telling you, I'm on what is going on. I'm telling you because this thing, when Mars Nandika talks about 100 men, I will not have 100 men in number 1 to 100, no. There are kind of species of men Mars Nandika is talking about. And seeing the, this religious issue, and some of them did not pick offense, is now a cause of it. You begin to see those kind of those men, those men that are not fitting in IPOB because the journey is tough, and you need tough men that will put everything aside, all their personal interests aside. I never believe that na in this struggle, na mo wa wo bi na. Gaming, gaming, video talk was some of media warriors. Block one. I have blocked three media warriors, which I have followed them for almost close to at least four to five years. But when, but recently I blocked one three. And the king guy is number one of them. Because of the wine. Him there, him to me, we have that now. If you watch in this movement, you are the one that you tell the king guy still in this in this uh, strong. I go and tell the king guy because so many times. He can come up close to I'm 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 or the time on so many can can you can get that close to almost to each is like here from IPOB. Or they got so many clothes, but one way or the other, I will hear everything they talk about here. It is your your broker and bro, brokers are not understand, not want any advice. Not want any advice because we straight of state. And people that take time, they take time, they take time, they take time. Maybe you can't get up close to up from one. Maybe you give up the shame advice. Here are three people. That's true. My mom, I call him, we never had a brass start to set the base and all that follow. Everything, so many things this boy has done. And very close, very close, very close, because I was just waiting to. It's not like everything is changing, but you need to go and I can't say it. Because I don't want him to fail. Yes. I'm a good man. The guy don't even know. Understand? Yes. So, but, uh, 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 thank you also for everything. Because it's the mouth being wearing, and the uh, one with time, now I got to people secretly, now I try to put them in order. I want to appreciate you and thank you. I want more to say. Maz, I want to say something before you go. Okay. What I'm going to say now, I swear, you don't soji. Maz, you soji, I didn't I have never for once in my life wish that Chubu is able to known as Ikenga, to be sacked from IPOB. For once, I never think about it. There was a time Chibu Zewatu made a threatening video against a certain pastor who resides in Owere. So many of you have forgotten, but I don't forget. More, the last thing when he came to be while Mazin Namikamu was in the palace, we have sometimes almost 4,000 things in line to be attended to within one month. Mazin may forget so many of them because there are a lot of things he's doing. All who are not here, Ghana from one to that one thousand, to that to that 4,000. Because I don't forget. Some of them is written. Some of them we are not written. 
But once I say, I don't forget. This guy made a threatening video and bet $5,000 on the head of one of our brother, a pastor from Oweri. Now, bah, niaga babuye. No, no, in fact, now this five thousand dollar, now niaga babu the pastor, now you open niaga babu the pastor, you need the money. What an unguarded statement! And if you want to be far, if you don't know anyone, we hold up. Chibu say guato that I know. I put the block up in here. Chibu say guato that I know. Can we just, 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 can you not wear? Um, um, South Africa. I'm not South Africa. Who buzz or Jay? Who buzz or Jay? Mozambique. Mozambique. See, so Jay Mozambique. South Africa man niya woke. Mure go man niya woke. Balaga. This is South Africa. Which one for help here? Now that movement. You buzz or buzz? Tato ba hoko na Nigeria. Iko ya toko na Newi. My this boy went to five thousand. Now I bought no work there. All audio money. He man, sometimes you two on. Never like you need two on. We have an act to ask you need two on. How I like here where where. We need two on now. Now me I have bet five thousand dollars. You see this guy. I got babu di. I got babu ye. Mwa puma zopele se chuku bikem went on the ground and called him and cautioned him and told him, bro. This threat you made now is not good. It's going to endanger your own life too. Because this person may have people who are who he have offended, who are looking for him to kill. They will capitalize on this or this program to kill this man. Go out there and and withdraw that your comment and and tender apology to this pastor. Before we look what every most you something of that nature. We such in the model. Believe me, I didn't say that he went to apologize because of my model, but I am among the people and he went and apologized to that pastor. Do you know the reason why I, I, I bring this particular topic here? This pastor was kind of working against this struggle. Yeah. And the Ikenga was then seeing this struggle as number one thing to him. Chibu Zebatu was believing that the struggle is supposed to be more important to him than the, than the Christianity. That is why he wanted to kill the pastor. He threatened to kill the pastor. Now, what happened? When our leader, Mazen Namdekano, rolled out Eastern Security Network, the Senchi Buse Wato came out and did a program saying that our people on the ground should go and fortify themselves. No, Buna Hacho Wadibia, and Yagi Nahi contact Wadibia Gorfogu. He called it traditional bulletproof i know that as he's watching this program now his his tension is going high you mean i'm up here because such an only open a chef cha namazo always in a chef i chef i keep it in the freezer or block or block or he can get made a program not one not two not three calling on our men on the ground to be fortified to go and do charm against bullet of which i am not against because it is part of our tradition you know people also have it our people also have it there is nobody that can hold bible in his hand that is why Suleiman bulletproof car will save one way and a family yeah? then the people who have bulletproof car no, no, a bulletproof car. All of them were, were shot and died and killed. Do you know that this same, this same guy called Chibuso that called for our people to go and fortify themselves 
He later brought Akwa Kukoti Warake, a traditionalist, to his, to his platform. Akwa Tara Akwa na, na platform here. Now, ask yourself, after doing all these things, what was the intention of this? Akwa Mtiguzo, Akwa Namus Naminu, Kamu Nemeregu video every day. Like, I'll be dropping like three, three, three videos on you every day. If I want to, I will actually bring you, he bring it down, which I never planned to, God forbid. I will never bring you, do anything like I want to bring you down. It is your activities that will bring you down. But my own is to come out and uh, put it to your face. What I walk on a platform here, there was too much of crowd. is looking for money. Now, obviously, I can see no video go deviate way na platform here that gas goes to see you Away, away, switch is here to Pastor Ebi Kobi because that one with the crowd. He's chasing crowds. What he's looking for is Ebi Hene. Ebi Abu Ni Hene, me, ne ku ku. Na, mago, ko, oje, te kawe omu ye ba. That is where he, where he began to call himself, Iken Gazayo. I am not against his free. I, I, I am not against his religious belief. I am not against his faith. Whatever. No. I am against him putting that his religious belief over our freedom, which is Biafra restoration. And this is the same man that came out to tell the world that Biafra is our religion in the past. If you want, I will go and look for the video. I bring it out. Where him, we can use his mouth to say that Biafra is our religion. He forgot. You see, only when they quarrel now, but in time they may okusi ochefu, okusi ochefu because he na atwashi. You are not consistent. The reason why I am breaking it down for you to understand is I want to remind this guy things he have forgotten, things he have done in this struggle. That is why I am saying that I don't want the retreat of state to sack him. He cannot he cannot endure the, the shame if his name is announced that the king is sacked from IPOV. The shame I'm queer because no to the little shade he is having today is because he is still an IPOB member. If not, no to because IPOB protects everyone that is fighting for the restoration of our nation, fighting against us. Go ahead, go ahead, do quick. I want to answer another call. say something then I will hang on then so that I can answer one or two calls before I stop. Let me tell you Radio Biafra, Radio Biafra, Radio Biafra is bigger 
than every platform any one of us think they have. The listenership on Radio Dakar alone is in tons of millions. The day I saw the listenership on Radio Biafra panel, the main panel, the day I saw it, Mazin Nandika to show it to me. For me to see the, the listenership of the people that are listening to Radio Biafra, those online, those on, on that are listening on radio, like, I don't know how it was calculated. My brother, it nearly crashed the system. It's in tons of millions. So anybody that comes on Radio Biafra to broadcast, one day, you are a top notch. If you are allowed to broadcast on Radio Biafra, you're a top notch. And this Radio Biafra, I have broadcasted there for many years before now. It is it is because or it is because of activities, engagement that Mazi stopped me from broadcasting there. But let me tell you something. Some people do not understand the difference between capital B and not BFU. The capital B, is a local, or he is a straight line. Now they can one. He has a zero capital B. Mana, if he is a local, and a man for that straight line, that is where I want to end my discussion with you. Thank you very much, my brother, for your contribution. And I have more callers on the line. Uh, somebody has been calling, 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 calling. Who is this man? Who is this man calling? Welcome to the program, I see the host. Your name and where are you calling from, please? I see the host. That's why I will take talk. Go ahead, Mazi. Go ahead. Yeah, good evening. I I just want to come clear. We will not waste time. Go ahead. I want that our that our brother call Ikenga. Call like Chibu Zewato. Let him go to Genesis chapter 24, verse 1. And from 1, let him read it down until 4 or 5. Where Abraham were given instruction when he get at the old age to his senior servant that when Isaac get reached to marry, they should go to their generation to go and get him wife. As all of them just did the food themselves, the food themselves, say that they marry, marry from here, marry from here, that, that they are not from their tribe. What they are doing, they are fornicating. What they are doing, they are fornicating because they didn't marry from their own tribe. If they believe in the Bible, they didn't marry in their own tribe. So what they are doing, they are just hypocrites. They are just hypocrites. James chapter 1 verse. Anyone that lack wisdom, anyone that lack wisdom, should ask God for the wisdom. God will give it to the person. Mazi. So let them have it. Eh? Mazi, I want to I, come, okay. I, I want to be on the other side on this your first quotation of uh, that anybody who doesn't marry from their tribe is committing fornication. I, I disagree to agree with that. The reason that I disagree to agree okay. with that is because uh-huh. is because um when you look at the creation of mankind, you understand that all human beings are one. When you look at the creation of mankind, you will understand that all human beings are one. What changes human being is as a result of um, of a movement and the lo- uh, location. For example, we in this side of the world, known as a cable land, which is the fundamentally called Africa, has what is called melanin. Those from the white, the other side of the world, do not have it because of the weather. That has been of generational uh, uh, traced back to the to the uh, to, 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 to gene to the genealogy. So, if somebody get married to another player that is not his uh, 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 clan, it doesn't mean that you are fornicating with that woman. If you go there and do your traditional rights of that woman according to the rules and regulations of that particular people, my brother, you are legally married to that person, not fornication. I have to tell, tell you this. Abraham was giving that instruction to his children because that is his own belief in his own, that not belief, that is his, his own tradition. And Abraham was not the only man on this planet at then. But you know, when we follow all the things that is written in Bible, sometimes we make mistake. My brother, Ojuku, Chiku emeka odume bojuku. Bumade ananas na kodevua. 
His father, Louis Ojuku, married from Côte d'Ivoire. Are you aware? And Louis Ojuku oh, went there. I'm listening. Louis Ojuku went there and paid the diary of the mother of Ojuku. Mama Ojuku boy Côte d'Ivoire, Ivory Coast. Oh, no, 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 According to the tradition of the people of Côte d'Ivoire. Where I will agree with you that these people are communicating is, I don't like that noise that is coming from their background, bro. So I will cut you off. Stop it. I am talking to him and uh, his phone was ringing. So I have to, I had to cut him off so that people will understand what we are doing here. <coughs> so the mother of Ojuku was, the very was properly paid by the father. Mazi, you, you are sorry for that noise. Uh, sorry for that noise. I'm off it already. It's sorry right. for that noise. So, so like I was trying to correct this impression so that people will not say, hey, go to President Pepe. He is saying that anybody that married from uh, another clan that is not of their own are committing fornication. No. If Chibuze, I'm coming, bro. If Chibuze Guatu did not pay the diary of any woman that he is married to, according to the tradition of that place that woman came from, what a what is doing is boyfriend and girlfriend, and what they are doing is fornication. If you marry a Chinese woman and go to China and pay the diary according to the tradition of that woman, one day you are married to that woman. That is what I want to say about that. I want you to round up. Thank you. Okay. Um. Thank you. I I understand what you say perfectly, and that is the way it is. Thank you. But in the side, in the side. Where they are telling us that they are defending their faith. Do you know what is pending me in this? They are defending their faith. They don't understand what it means by defending their faith. When you go from the beginning of this faith, and when they will come to the church, they will think that they need the Abraham blessing. So whoever that need Abraham. That is one. The person we believe in Abraham ideology. Two again. Let me tell him why his freedom. His freedom is greater than the religion because I remember when they have COVID nineteen. The government speak a word. The government are stronger than the religion. Of course. Government speak a word. Even on Sunday. Even on Sunday they did not go to church. Then what is your freedom? It became, your freedom it is your a government. Law. It your freedom a law. is your government. You're right. Huh? It became a law. Your freedom right. is your government. You see, Yes. Do you see why they are stupid? Very stupid. You see why they are stupid? Very, very. Their freedom is greater than their religion because their freedom is the government. And the government can say, we don't need church anymore again. Okay, why these people can look at what Erofi said? Erofi said, we have done it in Kaduna and we succeeded. They have succeeded in Kaduna. He started it. Kaduna governor, Kaduna deputy. Every commissioner in Kaduna is Muslim. Then they have done it in the federal level. And he will make sure that all churches in Kaduna came down. And do you know that no Christian that stand up and oppose Erufai? And before this month we end, another governor will take it up. And none of all of them that say that they are defending their faith will close their mouth. Before I stop, do you know that the whole can president Adamawa chapter Boko Haram? Do you know that all the whole Christian in the world did not say anything? Do you know that they slaughtered that man like how? It's a pity for them. They cannot but they will only come in this platform to tell us they are defending their faith. Mm -hmm. May God punish them without their faith. Which faith are they defending? Can they tell us the faith? People that came with the Bible that are, 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 are pedophile, holding our small, small room on boy, pressing their breasts, touching them, sleeping with them. It's okay, bro. Thank you. Thank you for your contribution. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Your line is even breaking. Um, this our brother have spoken with anger and uh, he made sense. Um, he made a very beautiful sense. And those of you that are watching, we testify that what he said is very correct. During the time of uh, um, COVID-19, government word become law. 
they spoke, nobody should go out. It, it came to pass and nobody went out. Even churches were not going to church. People begin to worship online. <laughs> Where is that your faith then? Why didn't you protest about that your faith then? Say, no, my because of my faith, says I was worshiping the house of God. Why didn't you go out and go to, to the church then? It's a very beautiful um, um, example. And what about the time that Nigeria government sees old currencies and say that nobody should use it anymore? They seize anybody. No, old currency became a problem. It's a law. Why are they doing it? Because this is a sovereign uh, country. They have their freedom. That is why. They have their freedom. They are free. Even whether it's a flag um, uh, independent or whatever, it, at least they can make a law and it will stand. When they say nobody will use old currency again, did any Christian protest? Did any Muslim protest? No. So if you are saying that your religion is supposed to be you are number one, whatever, before you are, you are, you are freedom. Then, I have declared it, I said, anybody that wants Biafra not to come because of his uh, religious belief will not see Biafra. You don't go see Biafra. It doesn't matter how many you are. Those of you that believe that our religion is Biafra, those of you that believe that Biafra is number one before your religion, you will live to see Biafra. Yes, because that is what you want. Look at the same Nigerian government now reverse that old note should go into circulation and it begin to go into circulation. That is law. So most of you that doesn't understand why we sound the way we do sometimes, I want you to understand it right now. That on this platform, I see they hurt. And so we don't talk. Them. I don't want to take more calls. Because no game. I remain your brother, Mazo Palazi Chukubike. Mago Biafra and Kemenana Biafra. Donald Azuki, Azubike is sacked from IPOB. Chibuze Guato. If you want to follow Donald, then continue bringing him to your platform and doing rubbish. I know you cannot because you, you sometimes you, your, your brain come back to you. Unless if your so-called wife push you out to go and do what you are asked to do. I have a lot of information about you that I will not use to say anything here. But what I'm telling you is that that South Africa where you think you are residing, you are not safe because your family are not safe here until Biafra is restored. That is my point. If you like it, take it. If you don't like, leave it. We must continue. And Biafra must come. Mazen Nandekano is still in the hand of the enemy and is going to be released. Thank you very, very much for listening. I remember Mazo Elezi Chukubi came. Mazo Soji. I didn't make it before. Can I see